Hi everyone, my name is Liz I read and welcome to another video. So this video is going to be my July TBR. I know this is coming out a little late. I've been taking a little break from filming and everything. But anyways, I have a total of eight books to talk about today. Um, all of them are pretty much arcs. I'm getting kind of behind on my arcs, so I need to catch up. So this month I'm just focusing on the books I got from NetGalley. Um, so they're all e-arcs, so I'm going to be showing an image for you while I talk about them. So let's just get on with it. So the first book I really want to read is called Cinderella's Dead. This is written by Kaylin Barron. This came out already on July 7th, so it's a brand new release. In this world, it's kind of like a dystopian fantasy. Um, it's been 200 years since, since, since Cinderella has found her prince at the ball. And so since then, um, all teen girls have to attend that annual ball in order to find a husband. We follow Sophia, she's 16, and she would rather fall in love with her childhood best friend, Erin. Um, that's all I know about the story. I am really excited. I love dystopians, and especially YA dystopians, so I'm really looking forward to this. I love anything to do with royalty, so I'm really excited. The next one is called The King's 100. This is written by Karen Biggs. This comes out on July 21st, and um, again, it's another fantasy world um, revolving royalty. We follow Piper. She's 16 and she's the princess of this world and her sister is the queen and everyone's disappointed with her. Not just her sister but like the civilians of this world. Um, she doesn't have a great reputation and this place is again kind of like dystopian. This kingdom there's no love or emotion and she finds out that her mother is actually living in the neighboring kingdom and so she decides to run away and she flees to the enemy kingdom and with the help of Chip, which is like this technology like in her wrist. So I guess this technology is helping her and guiding her to escape and she escapes to this neighboring kingdom which does have love and emotion. So I'm looking forward to this one. It's kind of like a sci-fi fantasy dystopian. So the next book I'm thinking about reading is called Evercurse. This is written by Corey and Heydu and this come and this comes out on July 28th. Again, more princesses. I guess it's a theme. <laughs> um, this summer, we follow five princesses and they've all been cursed by a witch and they each are cursed with something different. They all have to live without something. Um, so one is eat, sleep, love, remembering, and hope. So each princess is lacking one of those. And they're given a chance to break this curse I think the youngest sister or princess is about to get the curse and so they decide to go on a quest to, in order to break it and in order to do so they have to confront the witch who actually cursed them. So um, I'm really excited because it has like a sisterly element to it um, and I get the impression that the witch may be a little bit sympathetic. So I am really looking forward to this one. The next one is different, it's not YA, it's not a fantasy. It's called The Broken Hearts Honeymoon by Lucy Dickens. This is a romance. This comes out on July 23rd. A young woman gets jilted at the altar. Um, her fiance gets a cold feet and originally she was gonna have like a beautiful wedding and they were gonna go to Japan for a month on their honeymoon. And so since she's not getting married anymore, she herself goes on the vacation. Um, and that's all I want to know because I like keeping it a little bit of a surprise for romance. So, But I'm excited for a romance for one thing, but I'm also excited about traveling through the books. So that'll be fun. The next one, again, is another romance and it's called You Lucky Dog. This is written by Julia London. This comes out on August 25th. So this may be one of the books I may not get to because it comes out next month. But it's about two people who each have basset hounds and they both get their dogs walked but their dogs get switched by accident by the dog walker. The owners are called Carly and Max. And so Carly goes to Max's house to get her dog and return his. And they decide to spend more time together because they notice that the dogs really bond together. So yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited for this romance um, involving dogs. I recently received some arcs that have already come out a few months back. Um, so they're not high priority because they're not brand new releases, but I do want to get to them if I have a chance. Um, the first one is called Ava the Wild by Claire Marion. So this came out already on April 1st. And this is like a Viking 
fantasy story, which sounds really interesting. So the year is 862 AD. So the Vikings are traveling and they're pil they're pillaging and being very dangerous. And we follow Ava, who she's in a nunnery, and her future um, her future looks very bleak. She is destined to marry a rich man. Everything changes when three soldiers who has a message for the king, she I think steals something from them and they end up taking her under their wing because it's very dangerous for her because of the Vikings, I guess. So she ends up going on this quest with the soldiers. So that's all I really know about it. Um, I am curious. It sounds like it's going to be more of like a romance. It's almost like a historical fiction, I guess. The next one is a fantasy, and I think it's queer. Um, it's called The Mermaid, The Witch, and The Sea by Maggie Takuda Hall. This came out in May. And follow Flora, and she disguises herself as a man in order to um, be respected on a pirate ship. So she pretends to be a pirate, um, and not just that, but a male pirate. And she meets, uh, I think there's a lot of slaves on the ship. Um, they're transferring slaves. She meets Lady Evelyn, who is going to be married off to a man. And they kind of form a friendship and a bond and maybe more. And they try to have an escape. They try to escape the ship and there's a mermaid involved. So I'm looking forward to that one. So lastly, I realized I got an arc that is a sequel. So um, I decided just to purchase the first book so I can read the sequel. And the first book is called The Hidden King by E.G. Radcliffe. And book two, the arc that I got, is called The, La the Lost Prince. The Lost Prince um, already came out on June 8th. Um, so I don't know what book two is about, obviously, but The Hidden King is about aid. He's a young man. He's living off the streets, and he has a bit of a found family who are trying to survive off the streets. And when um, tragedy strikes, he ends up going on a journey in order to save his family. And it sounds like possibly he has some kind of magical ability that is being awakened. So yeah, I'm excited to read all these books. I don't know if I'll get to all of them, but I'm hoping to definitely read a good chunk of them. I don't think it's overly ambitious, but we'll see. I just need to catch up on these arcs and so I can provide reviews for you guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you've heard any of these books before, let me know what you think about them, if you've read them or you plan to. I would love to know. I would also love to know what you're planning to read this month. Let me know. I love to have a conversation with you. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you have not done so, you can follow me on Instagram and Goodreads. And you know what, guys? I want to keep reading. Bye.